there is no fact checker for chatbots. <clears throat> that is the whole bottle of wax. That's the reason why they're so dangerous because they can, but they don't know. These chatbots, they're machines. They don't know what's correct, what's incorrect. It's all the same to them. And that's the danger that they could incorporate teenagers ranting and raving about all sorts of Coachellas and reading articles that make sound and reason. That's where the computers come in. Quantum Q, they're fact checking, and you can ask the quantum computer to remove all the garbage, remove all the nonsense, all the weeds from the beds, raised beds. Maybe a check. That's the wild statements made by software. And that's the problem that's in there. Turning and churning the information. Who decides what's real, what's not? How does the chatbot decide? Is it ideologically biased? And the chatbot does not simply decipher. The quantum computing is able to discern what's real, what's not real. And if they gradations of what is true, partially true, or whatever, they can give you the day kill in understanding this construed, misconstrued, partially correct, misleading. You see what I'm saying? Right now, the chatbot splices together like an editor. It, it's all that it does, editing. No fact-checking. And it spits out cobbled-together articles that sound reasonable, but they could be some articles that are spliced into what is proposed with the quantum computing. That is fact-checking things bacon and eggs and not as correct and this is what it's bull and you get the gradations of american correct and correct forget it objectively accurate fact checking that will be huge stepping up from today because a lot of people they have their little faith in the little fact checkers and they find out that they're ideologically biased governmentally biased and you can have something that just tells you are you paying attention to how tor is doing it now in the community notes and slice? No heaven. And if you say so, it's a standout, controversial st climate change context. Or like this statement that gets refuted in the community notes board. So I'm really intelligently intellectualizing subjects and chiming in with tie papers and different statistics in the show. And Twitter won't correct it. Readers have said and then put up the elephant information in the room. So that's what chatbots are rooted in. No understanding of correct or incorrect, false and true. No understanding that with hard software, it's more peculiar and advanced. And so you're talking about all the machines the man like. So who controls that machine? Save China. Google machines first. And they develop a quantum computer first. And they start implementing it we have to make sure that our quantum computers can check other people's quantum computers making sure that they're not fudging at facts and if this is not done legally then the laws are passed in this direction and it's the fact that the wild west that of course the politicians handle all of the entertaining men and we cannot yield fire in the heart theater there are limits to free speech and we get that and how do you make limits on statements that are written on the web that no human can concoct follow? That's what the computers do. They come in. And they're powerful enough to maybe entire landscapes. People who are just outrageous. More about. Instantaneously a hit. Changing how we interact with each other in terms of language barriers. And all these issues that we have in common. I'm sure you're aware of Google Hand and their earbuds.